I'm here with my nervous girl, Blue, and today she's gonna learn the place command officially. Now, place simply means that your dog goes to a spot, a place, a cot, a bed, whatever it is, and lies there calmly until you release them. It's important for every dog to know this, and it's especially important and useful for a family who's adding a baby. So, Miss Blue's gonna have a baby in her life soon, and we're gonna have a way for her family to manage her and keep her out of the way, but still involved in the family day to day. So, whenever their guests come over to see the baby, when they're feeding, when they're changing, when they're cooking, when they're relaxing and watching a movie with the baby on the couch, you don't want a 60 pound dog jumping up unannounced. So Miss Blue's gonna have a special spot to go to and relax. You're gonna show her how to relax. She's a pretty anxious girl, and it's gonna be nice to have a way to give her a safe space. You ready, honey? So because she is so anxious, and we keep things pretty light with her, keep it pretty positive, I'm gonna have her sit a few feet in front of the place bed, give me her focus, which is hard for this girl. She likes to not make eye contact because she's so insecure. And then I'll tell her, place, point to the bed, help her on there. If she doesn't try to do anything, I'll simply give her a tap. It's at a five right now, it's working really low, that's what she's feeling. It's kind of a tap on the shoulder that says, go ahead and try something, honey. Then when she gets out of that placement, I'll tell her, good girl, praise her, let her sit for a little bit, and then release her. Good job. Let's go. Sit. Stay. Blue. Good. Place. Tap right there. Tap again. Good girl. Down. Awesome. Very nice. Good girl. Good girl. So with that rep, Blue said, I have no idea what that word means. What do you want from me? I kept pointing, I tapped, she started moving, she came to me and stopped. I tapped again and kept pointing and she said, oh, okay, I understand. Good girl. That's the response we want from the e-collar. It shouldn't be a punishment, it should just mean try something. You're making the wrong choice, I'm gonna show you how to do the right thing. When Blue got on there, she lied down. So we're trying to pattern in Place means go there and then down and stay calm. Good girl, honey, very nice. Good girl. Good girl. And praise. Very nice girl. Good girl. In a few days, she's gonna be jumping on that place bed, happy as can be. Good girl. Good. Good. Good girl. Good job. That was just one tap at that time, and you can see she automatically put herself into a down without being asked. That's really good. Good job, honey. I'm gonna bump my numbers up to a 10. A little bit more motivation for her. Good girl, but still not overwhelming. Good girl. Good. Good. I know, you're really trying. distractions. Good girl. Good. Good girl. If she were to step off, I'd tell her nice and firmly, and oh, the pressure would turn on, I'd guide her back on, and the pressure would turn off, and I'd praise. Good girl. And then I would repeat what made her break, throw that toy again. Good girl. Some distance, 
toss, here we go again. Loop. Place. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So pretty slow, um, not very impressive or flashy, but there was no pressure that round. I didn't, I didn't tap the toe of the uh, e-collar at all because I wanted to have a chance to win and not, not have a correction for not trying. So she was trying, slowly, but she was trying. So I let her go on there and experience, oh, no correction, and I get praise. It's a really good one, really good one. Speed will come, I'm not, I'm not worried about her. Good girl, good girl. You're worried about everything. That's my sweetheart. Good girl, I know. Hey, that was good. 